Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Real Hazardous. And today we're gonna to show you a quick and easy way to catch mahi down in the Florida Keys. This is something you and your family could do. You could take kids, very simple to do, very effective and a lot of fun. So we head offshore in the evening now. Okay, a lot of people go in the morning uh, and sometimes we'll go in the morning too, but we love to go in the evening sometimes for a couple reasons. One, it's cooler. Two, it's less crowded. And three, sometimes the fish seem to bite again better. You know, they're hungry in the morning, they get full afternoon and then boom, evening comes and they're ready to feed again. Now we're not going very far out. We're going about uh, 13, 15 miles about 600, 650 feet of water. For some reason, there always seems to be like a good little weed line in that depth, okay? I don't know what it is, but it's just always been a good area. Yeah, big patch of birds on the, um, following that weed line to the left, that big patch. So we get out there and it's simple. We're just using little artificial lures. Um, our favorite's the Rattlejet CNH lure. Okay, uh, they, don't, they don't pay us to say that, I just, I found one, you know, it seems like everyone has one. But I found one, started trolling it, and I just started catching fish like the last two years. So I've been getting more of them, trolling more. I like the black and purple one best, probably, the Mylar one. I'll put a link in the description. But it's simple, all you gotta do is throw some of those out. We threw a couple of little feathers, you know, just a couple of little plugs, and we're trolling about seven, seven and a half miles per hour. Now we find this weed line, and we just start trolling around it. Usually the clean side, just for the sake of lures not getting tangled. But what we're actively looking for is birds, okay? If you find birds on a weed line, well, that's, that's a good sign. That's where you wanna work. You wanna make several passes in that area. We started fishing. It didn't take us long to get hooked up. My dad's in the tower. It was kind of rough, actually. I rode in the tower and got my butt kicked. Um, learned not to do that when it's rough again. But when we slowed down, he got up in the tower and he was looking out and he was running a line way back. You don't have to run a lot of lines out. You do three, four, I mean, just keep it simple. I mean, it's hard hearing for me because usually I'm like, let's get eight lines and teasers out. But in the evenings, we're just running it real simple. And it didn't take us long to get hooked up. First, we got a little jack. It's a pretty cool, fun little fighter. But we kept working the area and then we got dolphin or mahi-mahi. Can you tell what it is? How big? You want me to flip it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to yeah. There we go. Uh, I think he might. Yeah, we could try to loop back by there. Fish on. The other one? Yeah, he missed it. There he is. You see him jump? So uh, what I would do, another little trick, you know, keep the mahi in the water. You know, you might have some others swim up with it. And if you do, just be ready to pitch a rod to it. Maybe a little chunk of squid, maybe a little artificial popper, or a little uh, paddle tail lure that you might use for triple tail or bonefish even. Hey, is that up? We got fish on. Now in this area, the dolphin aren't huge, though I've gotten some really big dolphin in this area. We'd be catching the little peanuts, and then bam, big old dolphin would bite. So it's definitely not out of question. But uh, a lot of times you'll have to go through more of the smaller peanut dolphin. What was crazy today is when we caught one of our dolphin, it threw up a needlefish or houndfish, as some people call them. I mean, the dolphin was a, it was a legal sized dolphin, not big, maybe 21, 22 inches. And it threw up like a needlefish that was probably like a foot long. It's crazy what these fish can eat. There we go. Wow, look at that. He just threw up a big old hound fish. Yeah, it'll it be close. And we keep fishing and then we catch another dolphin that also throws up a hound fish. So apparently in that area at that time, there were houndfish, you know, needle nose fish that far offshore 
and the fish were just eating them up. So that's, that's pretty cool. I've never found that in a fish before, in a dolphin. Doesn't surprise me because they'll eat anything, but it still was the first time I'd seen that before. We kept trolling and we're just working these areas. You know, we got me, my dad, my brother, and Sierra, and we're all fishing it pretty hard. Chris is doing a good job driving. I'm working the cockpit. My dad's up in the tower, and Sierra's helping me with the baits. Uh, I think he's on. I mean, uh, put it in gear. Uh, yeah, I was just curious if any, you see any with it, Dad? Just uh, got some uh, lure and dang, still hair short. We even had some double headers, which is really exciting. You know, you get dolphin, they're coming in the boat, they're flipping around, going nuts. It's just a ton of fun. It's great, you know, again, if you have family, kids, this is a real simple fishing tactic for dolphin. And you're fishing for dolphin, you can catch a sailfish. I mean, some stuff is, crazy stuff has come up in there. I've um, heard stories of blue marlin. Like my dad had a blue marlin, hit his small dolphin once, totally spooled him. You never know what you're gonna find, but still, it's a nice, simple fishery. Might be a fish. Yeah, they, that one's got a fish too. Hey, Siri, you got it. All three of them? Uh, Dad. Yeah, Where? Come on, Sierra's? Uh. You might have to come down in the fish here, Dad. Um. Here. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Okay. You wanna pull in spears? We worked that area, got some more dolphin, and my dad could see him from up in the tower. So what I did was I threw out some live baits quickly, and that kind of fired up. They started hitting and going crazy. I just threw some baits out. Oh look, look. Look, they're hitting the baits. I know, that's what I'm saying. All right. It's really good to bring live baits with you. One time we had some dolphin at the boat and I threw out live baits and they just went crazy. And it makes them so excited, then they'll hit your hook baits too. Of course you can put a live bait on your hook and that'll do well as well. We were yellowtail fishing earlier, so I was able to catch some live bait and bring them with us. But if you don't have that, it's okay. Just take some squid or some cut sardines, just cut them into chunks and be ready to throw a bunch of chunks overboard. Not big pieces, just enough to get them excited. Like a little appetizer, you know what I'm saying? That one was too small. Your enemy is too small, it's smaller than mine. Or no, I think it's bad. Ah, uh, that'd be close. Thank you. There we go. Oh yeah. Got a keeper. Yeah. Dolphin? Yeah. You might could throw some chunks of cut ballyhoo and Baits are really light, kind of hard to cast. Not so sure how I feel about this circle hook right now. Uh, Jack. Strong Jack. Yeah.
Circle hook worked at least. Well guys, that was pretty crazy. Had a lot of cool action. Not big mahi, but still a lot of fun. Did some live bait tricks. Tested some circle hooks. Um, those rattle jet lures were killing it again. So uh, just a good time. I was real happy with the fact we were able to get on the fish and stay on them. Uh, even though not a lot of keepers, that's okay. Still a ton of fun. So uh, hope you guys learned some stuff, enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.